welcome to our melt proof your makeup let's beat the heat this summer i am caitlin and i'm super super excited to be sharing all of my best beauty tips for keeping your makeup looking flawless all day long despite this crazy heat. Now I'm in Dallas, comment and tell me where you are watching from because y'all, I love to do lives. I love to do live, I think it's fun. Um, I love being able to reach a lot of people but I do not like them to do it by, I don't like to do them by myself. I like to interact with y'all. So y'all comment um, so I can feel like we're together, I can feel like we're having a conversation because I'm going to pour my heart into y'all for the next hopefully less than 15 minutes with all my best tips. Now, I plan to do this live because I truly felt like I needed it. And I knew if I needed it, that probably a lot of y'all were thinking the same thing. It's been, um, today I looked, it was 107 in Dallas, felt like 112, I'm like, holy cow. And um, we're not used to that. So you might need to switch up a few things or change a few things in your makeup routine in order to have it last as long and look as flawless if you're spending any time at all outside. So tell me where you're watching from and what your biggest makeup meltdown issue is right now. So I'm gonna give you all some tips and I'm also going to recommend some products and talk about products that will help with these, um, we're gonna call them issues of makeup melting in the heat. But I just wanna do a little disclaimer that I'm only going to share Mary Kay's products. And so anything I say about a product, like um, one of my that I'm going to talk about is a foundation primer. Anything I say about this foundation primer, I'm only referring to Mary Kay foundation primer, not a general foundation primer. So I just want to throw that out there um, because all our products are not created equally <laughs> um, as something else that you can just grab at the store. And then I'm also going to be a little bit general because I want everyone to be able to take something away from this video. And you have a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant if you're watching this, chances are. And um, we want you to use us. <laughs> use us as your beauty consultant because we can help you with your specific issues and customizing your routine and figuring out what works for you individually. So after this video, with all your questions, you can please comment them, but then also text your beauty consultant. If that's me, text me. Um, if it's someone else, text her. And if you're like, I don't know who my beauty consultant is, um, try to see who added you to this group and ask her, her who her beauty consultant is, or if you're in Live Beautifully, it's me, yay. Um, okay, so first I'm gonna start about how to prep your skin because a lot of what's gonna go into this, because we don't want our makeup to melt. And a huge mistake that I see right now is that people think just the more powder that they put on and apply during the day, the longer their makeup's gonna stay on. And the issue with that is, is it turns cakey it doesn't look as good. Um, and that method really doesn't work as well as it sounds like it should. So um, I'm going to start like from the beginning and how you're taking care of your skin. Um, Mary Kay's charcoal mask absorbs double its weight in oils and impurities. Right now, you might want to take this up a notch in how often you're using it because chances are if you have oily skin, especially your skin's producing more oil right now in this heat and humidity. And this mask is going to help pull that out in the evening when you don't have makeup on and um, so that it doesn't come out during the day when you do have makeup on. Um, another thing is exfoliating. We have our microdermabrasion, which is a physical exfoliator, or we have our chemical exfoliator, which is our glycolic acid facial peel. Um, I didn't grab that one off my shelf. Both of those are going to help your skin be smoother, softer, and allow makeup to stick to your skin better. Now, hear me when I say it's not stick inside your pores better, but stick to the surface better um, so that it can stay on longer. Both of these are also going to help if you do have clogged pores or you do have Mary Kay, or not Mary Kay, makeup, because you're not using Mary Kay in your pores and you're experiencing breakouts right now in this heat. These are really great on top of your daily routine to help. Okay. Um, next up is like my number one. I'm giving all like one of my best tips first. And that is Mary Kay's finishing spray. You guys who uses, comment if you use hairspray. 
how might you use hairspray? Okay, so you know when you have a really big event and you're curling your hair or straightening it or doing whatever and you like hairspray it and then you wrap it and then you hairspray it again and then you let it down and then you hairspray it again and then you do the rest and then you hairspray it again and you like literally your whole bathroom is in fumes by the time you're done with your hair. Okay, anyone else? Yeah, oh, Christy, yes, thank you. Um, so that is what you need to be doing with your finishing spray. So it is like, your hairspray, but for your face. It's a lightweight formula, um, so it's not gonna make your face feel like it has hairspray on it, like hairspray does, um, but it is going to soak into your makeup and help it stay up to 16 hours. It extends the wearability um, with its incredible formula. It's also going to help reduce pre per perspiration. So if you're perspiring a lot in this heat and humidity, it's going to help reduce that. So you can actually spray it on. So after you moisturize, I spray it on. Then I do my primer. Then I do my foundation. Then I spray it again. And then I do the rest. And then I spray it again. And you can also use it throughout the day to, uh, like bring your makeup back to life. If you're like, Ooh, I'm feeling a little, Ooh, Okay, spray it. It's going to help absorb oil and it's going to bring your skin back to life after a long day. This, you need like four bottles of it. It's amazing. For brides, I like have them spray down their whole body so they don't sweat before they put on um, lotion. It's amazing. So, so good. Um, the next thing is primer and um, oil mattifier. So after you're moisturizing your skin, which hopefully you're using Mary Kay's uh, Miracle Set 3D, which has SPF 30, or Time Rise Repair that also has SPF 30, because um, that's just like good skincare to protect your skin. But after those, you're gonna want to prep your skin with a primer or and or an oil mattifier. So let me tell you about each of these separately. So the primer is gonna work like a magnet to hold on to your makeup and extend the wear of your makeup. It's a lightweight matte formula, and it re also reduces the appearance of fine lines, pores, and imperfections. So not only is it going to smooth out your skin, fill in your pores, I call it spackle, it's going to hold onto your makeup so that it can't melt. It can't go anywhere. It's like a super tight magnet. So it's staying on your face all day long, no matter what you encounter, no matter the wind, the humidity, the air, this stuff, once you start using it, you'll never be able to go back. I use this all year long, all year long, um, but especially right now. Um, something I don't use all year long, and because I don't have ultra oily skin, but I'm using it right now, it is that it is the oil mattifier. So it instantly absorbs oil and reduces shine for eight hours, y'all. It also has an anti-caking agent in it, so it's not going to make your makeup cake if you apply, um, like if you keep applying powder. Now, if you apply too much, can't help there, but um, it has anti-caking and it literally instantly absorbs. So you guys can't, you really can't tell in this video, but um, especially the way my lighting is, but I just did it on half my face this morning to, to show y'all. And it really is crazy. So you just squirt out a little bit. I do it on top of my primer in the summer when I need both. So you can use both. It's phenomenal, especially for big, big days. Um, on the go, you're going to want to take your beauty blotters with you. We're talking about makeup meltdown, which means that it's hot out. You might be perspiring um, or just like feeling the humidity. Your makeup feels wet and you're going to want these beauty blotters. They're ultra thin. And what you do is you take them and you're going to hold them in your hand just like this. And you're only going to dab. Now, you also want to use these if you're going to quote unquote, touch up your makeup or add any powder throughout the day. So I don't know if y'all can see this. You like, Ooh, that is oil y'all. You can see it through the other side. So these are different. Um, I didn't write down the exact formula of them, but they're designed to grab onto oil and instantly absorb it. The thing you do not want to do is rub these on your face because then they will mess up your makeup. If you just dab, they will not mess up your makeup. They will only absorb that, um, that oil that's on your skin. So let's say that it does take a little bit of your makeup with, 
with it. Um, you, you were perspiring a lot. It naturally came off. You weren't using Mary Kay foundation. And now you're like, oh my gosh, Caitlin, my makeup doesn't look as good. So that is where you're going to want to keep a Mary Kay silky setting powder with you, or at least in um, your wardrobe and in, in your bathroom with everything. Oh, thank you. It's made of linen. <laughs> it's what the beauty blotters are made of. I appreciate y'all. Um, and I'm actually just going to read y'all straight from the Mary Kay website, what it says about this silky setting powder, because it's absolutely phenomenal. So this makeup multitasker helps even out skin tone, blur imperfections, and while providing a matte finish that smooths your appearance and minimizes shine. Designed to extend your makeup wear, this innovative formula delivers the setting benefits that you would want without the things that you don't, like mineral oil, wax, silicone, parabens, or fragrance. It has a plant-based emollient that contributes to its silkiness and makes it whispery light and softness that increases, um, oh, that for increased comfort and decrease of dryness. So that's exactly from the website. Um, I just thought that was so good. It's amazing. You can use it on top of liquid foundation, um, like your CC cream or your 3D foundation. Or you can use it by yourself if you want a lighter coverage. It has an amazing lock technology and the lid, boom. And so if you are out in the heat and you feel like you need to touch up, you feel like you need a little bit more, you're going to want to make sure to use these beauty blotters. Y'all, I think that they're like 8 or $10 for 75 It's crazy. Um, and then you're going to want to add just a little bit of silky setting powder back on top where you might have taken your makeup off just a tad. Um, it's going to make your skin feel so soft and feel amazing. You can also use Mary Kay's translucent powder. It is also going to help absorb oil and um, resist shine and make your skin look super flawless as well. But after those beauty waters, if any makeup comes off, I would recommend the silky setting powder and your beauty consultant can help match you with the color. And then last, I have two more tips for y'all. Y'all tell me if this has been helpful so far. Um, another place besides we've been talking a lot about our base, our foundation. Um, oh wait, I didn't share with y'all the difference between chroma fusion and 3d. So Mary Kay has um, many different types of foundation. You'll just hear me talk about silky setting powder, which would be considered foundation. Um, but my two absolute favorite for like the base base is, um, our CC cream and our 3d foundation. Our CC cream is a color correcting formula. So that's what CC stands for. And it's a super light coverage. It is marathon tested. So if you sweat in it, it is sweat proof, which is amazing. Hallelujah. We all need that in this heat. Um, if we're outside for very long and it is going to stay on all day. Now, if you have ultra oily skin and you're somewhere that it's extremely humid, you might feel because this is a basically a tinted moisturizer. It does have a moisturizing aspect to it and an SPF 15, like it is getting a little too dewy for your skin. Now, if you have dry skin, you're going to love this. Absolutely love it. If you have oily Here's skin, Oh, Siri wasn't talking to you. Um, if you have oily skin, you may or may not love that feeling of the dewiness on your skin. And so what I would recommend doing is either setting your makeup with the silky setting powder or using the oil mattifier and primer underneath it. Once you put on your CC cream, dabbing it with a beauty blotter and then putting the silky setting powder on top. That's going to help absorb any extra moisture um, that might come on your skin if you're feeling like it's too much. Now, I love it um, and I have plenty of people who do, but just if that's you, I want you to know how you can keep using your CC cream um, and there's always a workaround. And then the matte 3D, or you can try out the matte 3D. So matte foundation is our most popular in the summer because of humidity. Um, and it is designed to help absorb oil and um, reduce shine. So it's going to help keep your skin matte. And typically people with combination of oily skin love it. It's a full coverage foundation. It's amazing. It's what I use um, every single day, unless I'm going out on the boat, you're on the boat or on the beach or on a run or hot yoga or something, then I use my CC cream. Um, so those are two found two of my favorite foundations. And then last but not least, 
is eyes because eyes are another big area where I hear women complaining about, you know, in the summer, they're just get makeup under their eyes or their eyes just don't stay as long. And I want to show y'all Mary Kay's and y'all don't judge me. This is my compact. So um, don't mind the mess. I didn't clean it up for y'all. I was just going to be honest. So this is my compact. And these are our chroma fusion colors. Chroma fusion means that they have a 12 hour extended wear and they're totally life proof. They're crease proof. They're fade proof. They're phenomenal. So when you wear these on your lids, like as eyeshadow, it's not going to crease when it gets humid. And when you wear it as blush, it's going to stay all, all day. I never really touch up my makeup or reapply because these colors stay all day. And so if you feel like your makeup is fading by the end of the day, um, definitely try out the Chroma Fusion. They're phenomenal. And then waterproof, y'all. Waterproof um, mascara and eyeliner are going to make a massive difference in how your eye makeup stays on. If again, you're super, super oily um, or you're in the lake or, you know, you rub your eyes. Um, oh, that was something else. I was a big tip. I was going to share y'all do not rub your eyes, <laughs> um, or do not rub anywhere on your face. If you are perspiring, you know, I said it with the beauty blotters, make sure to only blot. Like if you get sweat here, just blot it off with a towel, just blot your head because that will extend the wearability of your makeup and not mess it up. Unlike if you, you know, wipe it well, then it's done for, <laughs> um, but just blot your makeup, never rub. And also when you're applying your makeup, make sure to use brushes. Um, that will make a huge difference in the wearability all year long of your makeup. Comment if you're a hands girl or a brush girl. I won't judge you. No one will. It's a judgment free zone. Let me know. Um, do you like to use your hands or your brushes? Because that will make a big difference as well. Um, but Mary Kay has waterproof mascara and waterproof eyeliner that will stay on absolutely all day. Um, you're going to want our oil free eye makeup to take it off, but those are two ways around it. And then also if you're like, Caitlin, I do not like waterproof but I want the results of waterproof because I hear that a ton. I would recommend to you our ultimate mascara. I call it our non-waterproof waterproof makeup because, um, or waterproof mascara, because when you um, get it wet or if you have really watery eyes, as long as you don't touch it, it does not move. It doesn't drip down your face. It doesn't flake off. It is there to stay. Um, I know that all of this makeup will stay on through anything as long as you don't touch it. Because when I wakeboard, um, I end up out there with makeup on. And I, sometimes I literally go underwater. Actually, a lot of times I go literally underwater. And as long as I don't like rub my eyes or go like this, when I get out of the water, my makeup is still on. Like it is absolutely crazy how well Mary Kay makeup stays on, but it is because I do all this. It's because I prep it with my magnet. So it's holding it on. And then I spray my finishing spray to keep it on. And because I'm using either one of these foundations that has a long wearability, um, and it's going to stay on all day. So I hope that these tips are helpful. I hope that you can take these and run with them. Try them out if you have them at home, especially the finishing spray and the silky setting powder. Those will absolutely, um, and the oil modifier, the prime, I mean, literally everything y'all. Um, I just shared my best tips with you. And if you have any questions, chances are I left a few things out. Um, so I'll be posting them in the comments or in a new post, but tell me what tip you are most excited to try um, and what you think is going to make the biggest difference for you. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope that this helps you beat the heat and cool down and still look flawless. Even when it's hundred and I saw a few hundred and eight, hundred and nine, hundred and ten, like, oh my gosh, crazy weather, crazy weather. All right. Love y'all. Bye.